So, um, hi everybody. Um, I'm back with this new video. I'm not quite sure what direction yet God's going to take me in, so, um, real quick, let's just pray. Um, Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this word, and I just ask that you speak through me, that you touch whoever's heart is, uh, who's, whoever's heart is watching this. Father, bless us as your children. Guide us and encourage us. Lift us up, Jesus. Fill us to overflowing, Holy Spirit, and bless us that we be led by you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior in heaven, I pray. And I thank you, Father. Um, um, okay. Um, so I wanted to kind of come today and film for a couple minutes. Um, just because I kind of felt like um, God had put this on my heart this morning. Um, I had... Well, sorry, gross. Um, so this morning I had had... Basically, my first period got canceled. Um, and I had the whole morning to kind of at home and chill and relax and for the past few weeks um i don't know if anybody's seen my last videos but if you haven't seen my last two um i've been kind of going through like a little bit of um just a lot these this past year 2018 was a really difficult year for me um between my addictions and everything that i had going on in my personal life it was just not it was a really difficult year um Ew, why is there so much hair in my mouth? Ew. Yuck. Um, anyway. It was a year that basically ripped me apart as a person. And it, it, it was all worth it. It was all part of God's plan. And it was all for him to tell me that I was exactly where... I needed he needed me to be not where I thought you know I presumably believe that I had wasted the past six or seven years or so and he is really showing me that I am exactly where he needed me to be so despite last year having been really rough um this year has been a lot better obviously but I had actually um just experienced what I guess you could consider a breakup um I mean I guess sort of if you look at it like that um, and for a couple of days I was really depressed and I had had a lot that just mentally every time I tried to inch closer to God I was constantly getting pulled back into my addictions and pulled back into situations with people that I just, I, I felt like I was truly in a rat race, like just the constant trying to get closer and getting pulled away and, you know, allowing myself to get pulled away. Um, so basically this morning, I, well, these past couple weeks, I've been watching one of my favorite movies over and over again, which is The Mummy, um, essentially because it's a movie that I've watched since I was a kid and it makes me feel very at home and just, it comforts me in a sense. And I started to watch it this morning I watched Mummy number two um, which is the sequel to the first one and I had suddenly picked up and I've been I'm 21 I've been watching this movie since I was basically born um, without ever having really grasped um, one of the key aspects of the movie so just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about um, in the second installment of the movie one of the main characters basically starts to see her past life and who she was and blah 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 or whatever however you wanted to pick that um i don't agree obviously with the reincarnation aspect of it but it really was god speaking through this this movie to me and basically in the movie she finds that the reason all these things have happened from them you know with the first movie to them getting married to them having kids to them being in all of these trials and situations with this one mummy it basically showed that all of this was preordained and everything about this was preordained everything about each thing that they've gone through in both installments of the movies was preordained and it's something that it was their destiny truly their destinies and god no matter what had had something pre-planned for them and specifically, that's another thing about the movie, they do actually say this is ordained by God um, at, the one of the, at the very beginning. So it's, it really got me thinking, um, we are meant, you know, we are the true children of God. Each, each and every one of us come 
from some line of God in some way, some form. We are his children and he has preordained our lives from these old lines that we read about in the Bible, these old bloodlines that we think we have no connection to. We don't really realize that we are fulfilling still to this day the prophecies that God has written about in the Bible. We are working, we are still doing his work in the Bible. We are still actively daily coming closer to him but on top of, of us just coming close to him there has already been a preordained plan revelation speaks of things that are coming to pass now so instead of thinking of the word as something that is unrelatable and far off and it's it's distance i realized this morning god sent me this deep realization that it is way more than that it is ray it is serious this is real this is real this word this testament this old testament is real and you all are my living predecessors to all of this also all of our predecessors that we've had in the past were put for here per, were put here for a purpose they were put here for a reason they were put here and have given birth to time and over and over time us we are now the products of them and and they have each line of our families is in some way a line of a past life. Does that, if that makes sense, because I think I'm going off on a tangent here and I'm not meaning to. We all have predecessors that are biblical. That's basically what I'm getting at. We all have predecessors that are biblical. And we have to remember that we are living in a modern day, serving the same God that they served then. And we have to keep that in mind that our life is just as pre-planned as what we read about their lives. So what I'm saying is in times to come, the way that we read about prophets' lives in the Old Testament and in this book, we are those living prophets today, if that makes sense. We are the descendants of those living prophets today. And we need to honor that and live by that and live knowing that we have this God who loves us so much and has given us this entire lifetime to live out his will. We may not realize that his will is going to be done in our lives. The same way in The Mummy, they had no idea that for, you know, these past, this past installment of the movie that they were essentially supposed to be exactly where, where they were. No matter how difficult it was, no matter how scary it was, they were exactly where they needed to be because they had a preordained mission to do this, this, and this. And I think that it's very, it, it's a very powerful thing to realize. We are not far off from these people that we read about in this word. These people are the reason that we are here and able to believe and, and read and preach the way that we do. That being said, it just gave me a whole awakening this morning of just realization that God's plan is truly God's plan. God's plan is God's plan. And, and no matter what, that plan is not going to be upstaged by anything or anyone. And we have an obligation to serve him faithfully and truthfully and, and, and to fulfill that plan and that destiny. And if you guys are like confused on what I'm talking about or the way, because I know I kind of jumbled this all up and kind of talked in circles. I always do. I apologize. If you watch the first installment of The Mummy, you will fall in love with these two characters. You fall in love with Rick and Evie. You fall in love with them falling in love. And in the second installment, it's almost like a realization that their love was very binding and their love is up for one another is obviously agape it's it's you know it's complete and absolute but their purposes they each have these individual purposes and god brought them together to fulfill both purposes and for anyone who, who's gone through a breakup it, it, it's like you don't like hearing like there's there's hope after you break up like it's not something that you want to hear um but it was almost like God put his foot down and, and just said, look, do not jump the gun on anything. Do not jump the gun. Do not rush any, any of this process. Because I have someone, I have someone made for you. There is someone's destiny and there is your destiny and they are entwined. And you have to respect that that's how I've made you. That's how this will goes. That's how this plan goes. Respect me. Live in my light. Live in my spirit. And you won't have to worry about anything. And I 
it, it's just now taken this morning for me to really gauge and understand that just that that powerful fact that God has this plan for you and everybody likes to say that you hear that in church all the time God has a plan for you God has a plan for you and you're sitting here and you're like but I have done so much stuff that is against God there's no way that this is according to his plan there's no way that any of this was according to the plan Turns out, my friends, God knows everything that you're going to do wrong, and he has planned accordingly for you to do exactly that. He has planned for you to screw up. And realizing that we make mistakes, I think, is, is like the key part of this video, is realize that there is a plan, and you're going to make mistakes, and there's going to be times where you feel like, I am not following the plan, and I am not doing what God wants me to do. And in those times, the only thing that you can do to get back on board is literally open up this word and pray. Praise and worship along with reading this Bible are the only things in this world that are going to give you any type of growth in relationship with God. Works without love are nothing. I mean, we literally have to be in this word constantly. And on top of that, after um, I watched this movie, um, The Mummy, you know, after I watched it, I opened up my Bible and I want to say I was in Colossians. I could be wrong, but I believe I was in First Colossians. And Maybe it was First Corinthians, now that I say that. It was one of them. And it was talking about the story of David and the different battles that God took David through and the different tribes that God allowed David to slay. And then when David messed up, God gave him the option for him to either fall to man or fall to God. And he obviously chose merciful God. And it it was mind-boggling to me to to really sit down and, and read this after having watched that because it basically... What God was saying to me is, I have a plan. No one will ruin that plan. No one will come in between this plan. Stay focused on this relationship with me. Keep me at your center. Keep me at your focus of everything you do at the, at the, the front. The first of everything. And you will know where you need to go and what you need to do. And how you need to operate in life. It all starts with putting God first. And I know that when I'm saying this, I'm saying stuff that I've heard so many other pastors say, and I've heard it time and time again. And it literally was not until today. By the way, I haven't been to a ch church in a year and six months, like actively going. So it was it was very eye opening to be sitting in my living room and have God just overwhelm me, just overwhelm me out of no. I mean, literally out of nowhere, I just started bawling. But it was just like this realization took over that. The same plan that has been written in this movie is, is similar to what God has done in your life. This plan has been written. And your plan and someone else's plan eventually are going to coincide. And you have to understand that, and this kind of pertains to what I said in my last video with relationships and putting God first, you have to remember to put God first and keep God first. When God is first, things automatically start to change. But it's almost like after having sat and put God first, just, you know, changing my life slowly but surely and getting back on, on the right path, I have been shown so much in just this little amount of time. And to have that experience this morning, it, it was just, it was mind-blowing. It was absolutely mind-blowing. It was life-changing. I feel in, born again in a different sense than what I have ever felt before. And it's, it's nice. It's blessed. It's holy. <laughs> I think that any fear that I have ever struggled with, any anxiety that I have ever had, it's like the realization now that no matter how much you think that anxiety and that fear is protecting you from what if and what could, God is not going to let it happen if he has not ordained it to happen. If it is not as part of his plan, it's not going to happen. As long as you're walking with him, you're trying to walk with him and you're staying on that path, or at least trying to stay on that path, there is nothing or no one that can stop that plan that God has for you. So remind yourself that there is a plan for my life. There is a plan for my sister's life. There's a plan for my dad's life. There's a plan for my aunt's. There is a plan for every life. There is a plan that is preordained by God for your life. Trust in the plan. Even if you can't see the plan, even if you can't see the next step of the journey, know that there is a step there for you to take. And you have to be willing to take that step whether you see it there or not. You have to be willing to trust God that there is a step there to take. Which I know was a weird analogy. 
Um, I'm sorry, guys. I know I've been babbling in this video a little bit. It might have been like a little difficult to understand and comprehend. Please comment and stuff below if you guys have any questions or you want to ask me about anything or want me to go more in depth than anything. Um, just thank you guys a lot. Thank you guys a whole lot for all of my 17 subscribers. I thank you guys. And I'm just really thankful to be able to do this, to have a little bit of a platform to preach God's word and to just be able to be this filled with the Holy Spirit and be able to share with the people around me. I'm so thankful. I'm so happy. Um, and yeah, I just, I just, I'm really in a good, I feel so filled with the Holy Spirit. I feel compelled to just preach about that experience this morning and just, you know, talk about it more. So, <laughs> with that being said, if there's anything that you guys want to talk to me about or, you know, any questions that you had about anything that I said here that might have been kind of confusing, feel more than free to ask me in the comments below. Thanks, guys. God bless.